Hey guys, I'm back on supposedly the most depressing day of the year, but we'll find out more about that later. Well, at least now we know what Selena Gomez's mum thinks of her relationship with Justin Bieber. And let's just say that she's not as happy for Jelena part two as the rest of us. Mandy Teethy apparently spoke to Gossip Cop about her thoughts on Selena and JB's reconciliation and while she's apparently not happy about it, she added that she doesn't mind how Selena lives her life as long as she's happy, safe and healthy. She is 25 years old and knows what is at stake with her health. I do not control her the way it's been portrayed. Selena is an adult and can make her own choices. This comes after the two were reported to have had an argument over her relationship with Justin last month. Me and my mum always have arguments about all those relationships I've had. I mean, I've just lost count. Mandy also explained that she hasn't personally spoken with Justin in years and that she didn't speak to him even via text while Selena was being treated following her kidney transplant over the summer. On why she stopped managing Selena's career, Mandy adds, every mother and daughter has disagreements. We never expected to manage her whole life. We lost family time because the only time we saw her, we talked business. It was no longer fun for any of us like it was when she was younger and we we had to be with her because she was a minor. I like your thinking, Mandy. Family time is the most important time. Listen up, Geordie Shaw fans, because Flora Barma Shaw is coming to MTV tonight at 10 p.m. and we know you're gonna love it. The latest Shaw franchise will see eight guys and gals from Florida and Alabama travel to the Gulf Coast in search of gorgeous beaches and crazy parties. In a nutshell, think those toon parties with a bit more sun and mischief. Ahead of tonight's premiere, we asked Geordie Shaw's cute couple, Chloe and Sam, my ex fling, we won't go into it, it's a touchy subject, to give the new series a watch and share their thoughts on which Shaw is more rag. I'm not sure what that means, but I think it means cool. What is that smell? <laughs> is he smelling piss? The mushroom. It might be pee. That's, Told ya. That's copying off like sh Charlotte. How drunk do you have to be to pee pee in somebody else's bed, and then you're sitting there laying in the pee pee bed? I think I might have pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have pee pee. <laughs> you know what I find funny? What? The fashion what? sense. Yeah. So on you. He's got a quiz. <laughs> so have I. I know you a drunk mess, but I'm not comfortable sleeping in new people's pee. I'm not comfortable sleeping in old people's pee. It is a different type of crack, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, like exactly. if, if that yeah. was us in that situation, we'd talk about yeah, it we're differently. Like, we'd be like, you're what are you doing, you pissy pants? Like, just, like, we would find it funny that yeah, we're like, to find yeah. it quite seriously. I want to see more. I do. It's Blue Monday today, which means supposedly everyone is going to spend today talking about why it's the most depressing day of the year. Well guys, I'm here to show you otherwise, so listen closely. This day is something that was actually invented by psychologist Cliff Arnold in 2005 after a holiday company asked him to create a scientific formula to find out the most miserable day of the year to encourage people like us to book more holidays. The cheek. Well Cliff, you don't have to ask me twice to book a holiday, but panic not. Here's a few reasons why actually there's no need to feel depressed after all. One, Flora Barma Shaw is on tonight, which is bloody exciting. Number two, International Chocolate Cake Day is coming. You heard me, ladies and gents. There is an exact day where it would be rude not to eat cake. And even better, it's just around the corner on the 27th of Jan. Number three, Valentine's Day is coming up, my friends. Da -da -da. And if you don't have a lover, I'm sure you will have some friends who will want to get a film and a takeaway. And that's what I'll be doing, I can tell you. And I will love every single moment of it. So that is something to definitely look forward to. I mean, who needs a man or woman to complete them? Hey guys, thanks so much for listening and I hope to see you back next week for MTV News with Mark.